Hello everyone and welcome to another episode on Captain Charles Plays. Today we'll be playing Stormworks and we're going to start off with a small little battle. Now, I don't know what they're going to do because it doesn't look like half of their guns work. But our German H-44 Super Battleship should be able to deal with it. Alright, let's just find the, um, where's the entrance? Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've used, oh, there it is. I think it's been so long since I've used this, I forgot where the entrance is. Oh gosh. It's so tight. Ah. I'm done. What? Push buttons. Is like the sinks or something? Oh. Oh, it's pressing one and two, not three and four. Oh, that's this button. Um. Okay. Wrong gun. Oh, crud. Room is filling up. Wrong. Wrong thing. Ooh. Wrong thing. Accidentally got the wrong gun. I need to be up here. Be patient with it. I haven't used this thing in so long. Ah, here it is. Here we go. Let's go to, Let's turn on the lights. Here, move the guns. Rotating guns complete. Aim them down just a little. Boom. Bombardment. believe they are sufficiently destroyed. Uh... Shoot, there was a sub nearby, wasn't there? Oh, now that that battleship... We're taking on water, aren't we? <sighs> Great. Alrighty, let's just throttle. We need to make sure sufficiently. Oh, those are large holes. Um, well, let's check the... They haven't even closed the doors. Come on, start us. Let's get moving. It's a loud engine. Let's see, if we can move towards land, I think we should be able to get there. But oh gosh, I think this may be a couple too many waves. Sheesh. Yep, that's too much wave. Huh. And the end died. Yay, we're dead in the water. And we're taking on water. We'll probably disappear under the waves soon enough. And also, not sponsored. But, 
If I get enough subs, will you please sponsor me, Prime? I gotta have a nice refreshment. It's like we're taking on water at a rapid pace. Oh, I think we need to get out now. Okay, there's an override controls. I never knew that existed. What lock doors? is uh <laughs> sinking at a very rapid pace um that's not good i'm glad most of the crew abandoned when they did because that thing is gonna slide beneath the waves before we can we could even get an sos out oh well maybe hard hard for y'all to see but Um, thing's sinking really fast. Even if I zoom in, it's probably really hard to see. Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. Oop, there it goes. Oop, oh, oop, oh, staying up. There she goes. I bet you on this next wave she'll go down. Or at least the part of the top will start. Just permanently having water in it. Ooh. We tried, but I think there was a submarine or something nearby and it sank us. And tomorrow I will be doing Stickman Trenches, everybody's favorite. So, be looking forward to that on Sunday. I think you'll like it. Now, I am having to record these a bit early because the um, we're going out because it's Easter and stuff, so you know how that is. Family stuff, eat a bunch of food, it's awesome. It's just normal. <laughs> see here. That thing's probably going under. Whew. That battleship is gonna sink pretty quickly. I'm surprised that thing's not going down. Alright, let's just see what it looks like with no wind. Um, how fast it would sink. It's actually, I think, sinking a little bit slower without the wind. Like, it looks like it's staying a bit higher. I have tried this thing out before, and it sinks really slowly. Um, so, I'm just going to go on to the next part, because you get it. It's going to go down. Um, let's see here. This is how I get to do all my editing stuff for the when I play Stormworks. Now, then. I have something to show you. A Titanic. I know it's so large. Oh my gosh. It's so large. I have to look through binoculars to see it. I know it's a massive ship, isn't it? She's a beauty. She's beautifully small. <laughs> yeah, it's so small there's a separate cabin. 
Ooh, that hurts my ears. Alrighty, we're moving right now. Alright, let's say we get caught in a storm. Because trust me, it's fun when this thing gets caught up in a storm. This it looks awesome when it gets caught up in a storm. The lifeboats fall off. Don't ask what's happening there. But the lifeboats fall off. And since you know the Titanic snapped, if you've seen if you know what the Titanic happened, that happened. And and then it just splits up in the water and the whole ship just shreds. I don't know how it's still moving, so we probably want to uh stop the engine. What? Oh, that was a stack. And then it's just all crashed apart, and then it just slowly sinks below the water. It looks awesome. If you could see it, the stern just went under. And right now we're seeing the bow just start to go down. Don't ask how the lights are still on. And then it just goes straight up and sinks down. Now you're probably all asking, I want to see this during a normal sink. Sorry, my uh, thing's geeking out. It's going wonks. Oh, there it is. Right there. I don't know why I went over here. Alright, so let's just, let's tone down that wind. You don't want wind, rain, or fog when you're doing the normal sink because it just, it messes with it. Like, 2% waves will mess with the thing. And it's like not a proper sink as you saw. Because the way the creator did it, and I'm not saying it's bad, but the way the creator did it, they did it to where once the water reaches a certain level, it breaks. So if you're in really large waves, it'll just break off randomly. It looks epic, but like, it's not good when you're trying to film a video with it in rough waves and stuff. Uh. Oh, there we go. It's taking on water, I guess. We've hit the iceberg. Iceberg right ahead. She's sinking. It's a sped up sink because the actual sink took two hours. I don't think I want to film a two hour long video. <sighs> um, let's see here. Yeah, that thing goes, it goes down really, really fast. Um, but it's also really cool when it goes down. Because the stacks fall off and then the ship breaks. I don't think that actually broke realistically. Sorry, I'm a Titanic geek, but I don't think it really broke realistically. Wait, what the... Heck. Okay, that just happened. I like, got pulled down, but... It... But that's really cool. I never noticed that where it's like... It's jagged and stuff, and you can see like parts of the ship and something. Oh, the, um, the room's filling up. Um, we probably want to get out of there. There it is. Oh well. Let's load ourselves a little add-on that I made just for the video. Iron. That's what I call it anyway. Um, it's right here at the oil, oil rig. Um, don't ask why there's one sailboat. Um, I was just running out of things to put in there so I just shoved a sailboat in there. And it doesn't even have working guns, so I may need to edit that. But we're just going to sink it just for funsies. <laughs> so literally the whole point of the ship is just to sink it. I know, I know, I'm so cruel to the ships. Right, let's go ahead and breach these guns. Water pumps. Alright, I guess we start turning. This is the monitor 2, I believe, that I'm using right now. And there's a, 
there's a tiny iron clad over there. I don't know why I have it out. I made this a while ago, so. this I made this before I started YouTube, so I, was, I had some weird stuff that I made. Well, I think the thing exploded. <laughs> Do you think it exploded, viewers? Uh, I think the ship's uh, exploded. Um, I think the thing's taking on water faster than uh, any ship on Earth. <laughs> Alright, let's turn this thing around. Open the breaches. Let's go turn around. I, th I guess I just put the sailboat in there as a tall obstacle or something. I don't know. I don't exactly know why I put it in there. So that monitor one class will be the only other ship that sinks in the net. This will be the only ship that survives. I'll just go ahead and tell you that right now. The way I set this up, this is supposed to be the only ship that survives. Either that or it's the, no, it's the, uh, it's the monitor one class, sorry. That survives. How about we fire at it again? And you saw how big that explosion was. I think we should fire at it again. Breaches? Oh. That's why you double click it. Zoom the side. Boom. Two massive hits. Let's see what's going on. On the other side. Let's see how bad the water is coming in. Water's... Okay, the water's actually coming in pretty quickly. Um, well, while that thing takes on water and sinks, I guess we could get the monitor in the other ship. I don't even think we need to fire the other ship. We know the thing's gonna sink. <laughs> see here, let's open the breach. Close the breach. Move the turret. Turret cannon down. Should be. Boom. Direct hit. Da, da, da. One more. Should do it. Right there, well placed. Never mind. Let's move that turret cannon up just a smidgen. Alright, let's see how badly this thing is sinking after those couple of shots. I guess it's a miniature boat. I mean, what more do you expect when you look at this? There she goes. She'll go a lot. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I just turn around and the ship's almost gone. Jeez Louise. That's everyday me, I guess. Maybe I should make the uh, other one survive. I guess is this going to go fully under? Or do I need to assist it a little more? Well, it looks like this ship's gonna go under too pretty quickly. Um, very quickly, actually. Very, very quickly. Yeah, that thing's almost under. We'll probably just do one more small ship battle. And then, yeah. Open breach, close breach. And aim down. Come on, aim down. That's as low as it goes. Oh, I think that was a good shot, though. I believe we hit the thing. Somehow. 
I don't know how, but we did. Alright, I think I want to hit the gun this time. That'll cause severe damage. I don't believe the gun's been hit. Yeah, I don't think it has. Alrighty. Load it, load it faster! Come on, I know this is a Bertha cannon, but... I know this game can load faster than that. Ooh. I should have started with that shot. I mean, I don't know how the whole ship didn't just explode. That was intense. I think on the original Iron Battle, I had two of those Monitor 2 classes. Honestly, I prefer the Monitor 1 because it was much higher, so it didn't flood nearly as fast. Like, this, it flooded so fast when I used the um, Monitor 2s. They flooded so fast. That actually kind of looks cool when it sinks. How it just is like, it's so flat, it doesn't really sink, it just kind of slides down. It's kind of, it's actually kind of cool looking to me. Well, oh, one more battle, and I think we'll be done. Let's see here, let's do, I don't know why that says that below. Um, let's go to, um, let's just see. Um, oh, that's why it says Sapelo. Well, I'm going to remove the Sapelo that's here. Um, because, oops, we want for a G A T E frigate, Levant, which is a British frigate. Uh, armed one actually one that actually can shoot guns yes score G -A -E -N. Whoop, that's an M. an M I think we should do this Japanese galleon just because it's really cool looking and I kind of want to shoot it um <laughs> I really want to do it this will only take. Oh, that has working sails. That's really cool. That has working sails. Um, I guess we need to find the driver area of this mess. <laughs> oh gosh, is that us? Oh gosh, larboard and starboard and stern and stem and what the heck? What? Huh? What the? <laughs> I'm just pressing one, two, three, and four. I think we just blew up our own ship. I really think we just kind of blew up our own ship. Oh! Oh, that's what the button of death does. Sorry, button of fun. I believe... <laughs> the Japanese are coming out victorious on this, because I don't even know what to say about this. Oh, I, thought, I was like, they're taking on water? I really don't know what to say about that. Um. Wait, what? Volleys? This thing is actually has cannon? Well, this wouldn't be cannon. Oh, they're just. Oh. It's just little fake shots. That's what it is. I've seen those before. Okay. That was, I guess, the end for that ship. <laughs> I don't want to... I don't even want to know what happened. Yep. Thank you all for watching. I will see you next time.
Captain Charles, signing off.